Hello everyone. In this video, I will introduce how to use Python to solve a circuit problem. Here is the circuit. It consists of four resistors and one capacitor and a source. The source equals 10 cosine 200 pi t plus 10, which means the magnitude is 10, and the phase is also 10, and the angular frequency is 200 pi. In this circuit, there are three loops and four nodes. We could use the KCL and the KVL together to solve this circuit. I have already gotten a Python code language to solve this circuit. But uh, this code, there are some problems. After I got all the equations and I used the sy.solve to solve all the equations, finally put the results into the answers and I use a for loop to output the answers one by one. But for this code, the output is always nothing. There are some errors in this code. Let us to check one by one. Since in this code we need to use some symbols, so I import a SymPy as a SY and the SY dot initiate the printing. Next, I defined the symbols. First of all, define the four resistors and the one capacitor, and then define the order voltage on the each component for the order resistors and the capacitors, also including the source voltage Vm. And the next step, I define all the current for each component. There are five components, so the current, there are I1, I2, I3, I4, I5. Since here for the for the voltage source is alternating voltage source, which means it's a complex number. It includes the magnitude and the phase. That's the reason all the symbols the complex equal to. For the voltage source, the magnitude the Vm equal ten, and the phase PHI is also equal ten. In this code, the omega equal Vm cosine phi plus Vm sine phi times i. Here it's wrong. Actually, our omega is just 200 pi. Before we debug this code, we should try to solve this circuit in the phase domain first. Let's analyze this circuit. For the voltage source, if we write it in the do phase domain, it's Vm theta. The magnitude is 10 and the phase is 10. So it's 10, 10. And for the R1, for the resistor 1, it will be 4.7 ohm and the, the phase is 0. And for R2, it's similar, it's 4.700 and the phase is 0. For the capacitor 3, C3 is equal 1 divided by J omega C. This one is for the impedance. We also need to write it uh, in the phase domain. The J, uh, the, the omega is 200 pi. And the C value is 470 times 10 negative C farad. For the C3, it just has imaginary part, so the magnitude is just 1 divided by 200 pi times 470 times 10 negative 6. And for the phase, it's arctangent. Since here we could write it negative j first, put the j here, so which means the phase part, it will be the imaginary part divided by the real part, arctangent. The phase will be arctangent, imaginary part divided by the zero, real part. 
since the face is arctangent, negative 1 divided by 200 pi times 470 times 10, negative 6 divided by 0, which means it will be negative infinity. Since the for the tangent function, here is negative 90, and the right side is 90. If it's negative infinity, which means the angle it will be negative 90. So the phase for the capacitor is negative 90. For R4, equal 4,700 zero degree. And for the R5, uh, it's 1,000 and zero degree. After we get all the impedance, we could go back to the code. For the ZR1, ZR2, ZR4, ZR5, and ZC3, they are all wrong. And uh, for the ZC3, since we need to change all of them in the phase domain, here they just give the amplitude. And for the ZC3, they give the 1 divided by J omega C. We need to correct them. For the ZR1, we should uh, times the EI theta. Here for the EI theta, we could use the Euler's formula. We could change it to cosine theta and the plus I sine theta. Since here is the theta for the resistor is zero, so we just need to SY dot cosine zero plus I sine SY dot sine zero. And since here we need to also times the SY dot I for the imaginary sign. And for the ZR2, ZR4, ZR3, they are all similar. Since all of them, they are, the angle is zero. We just need to copy the, this part and paste them to ZR2, ZR4, and ZR5. For the ZC3, we should delete the SY dot I times, just keep the amplitude, and then add the cosine negative 90 degree plus sine 90, negative 90 degree times SY dot I. But here the omega is wrong, so we should define the new omega. It is just 200 times pi. After we get this one, we should correct the VM in the line 9 and also the ZC3. After we change all of them in the phase domain in the Python code, we should check the 12 equations. I will put the equation to here and to check them one by one. Next, all the symbols in the circuit, I1 is I2. Here is I3, and here is I5, and here is I4. And for the voltage, they are the each component's two sides voltage. So for the R1 is V1, for the R4 is v, VR4, and the V5, V2, and V3. According to the Ohm's law, the current and the voltage they are just the current equal voltage divided by resistor. So the first five equations, they are all correct. And then we consider the equation 6 to equation 8. For the source voltage, it's Vm. So we can use the KVL in these three loops. In the first loop, the Vm minus Vr1 and minus Vr4 equal 0. So the equation 6 is correct. For the equation 7, it said that Vr2 minus Vc3 equal 0, so it's wrong. Since we need to consider the whole loop for the upside loop, so for the equation 7, it should be Vr1 plus Vc3 minus Vr2 equal 0. 
So which means the equation seven equal v r one plus v c three minus v r two equal zero. And for the equation eight, it's similar. It's for the bottom loop. They include uh, r four, r five, and c three. So it should be v r four minus minus v c three and minus v r five. So both the equation seven and the equation eight they are wrong. Use when they use the KVL. After we consider all the three loops, we should consider the nodes for the KCL. So the equation nine is wrong. Minus i one minus i two equal zero is wrong, because for this node it should have three branches. When we use the KCL, if we assume here is i, so which means the i minus i one minus i two will equal zero. So the equation nine is wrong. For equation ten, we consider the middle point. It's i one equal i four plus i three. Which means i one minus i four three minus i four equal zero. So the equation ten is correct. And then we consider the rightmost node. For this one, we could get i two, i two plus i three equal i five. So the equation eleven is correct. And for equation twelve, i four plus i five. I four plus I five also should be the equal the current I. So the equation twelve is wrong. We could combine the equation nine and the equation twelve together. It will be I four plus I five will equal the I two plus I one. So we just need to delete the equation twelve and change the. Equation nine to y i four plus i five minus i one minus i two. That's for the three KCL equations. Then we could go back to the code to correct all the equations, and for the equation six to equation eight, and delete the equation twelve, and change the equation nine. After we get all of them and then correct all of them, we could run the code again to check the answers. Run this code. Now we get some answers. Here it's a little bit hard to see, so we could go back to use the for loop to print them one by one. Print answer x. Run it again. Answer X. So it shows all the informations for the current and the voltage. We could add another code, print X. To indicate which one is which one is current, which one is voltage. Then run it again. The first one is I five, I four, I three, I two, I one, and the the other part near the voltage. So now they are very clear about the what the current and the voltage solutions for this whole circuit for each. Component. Here, all the answers they are in the phase domain, and the next step we need to change all the current and the voltage to the time domain. For here, we just need to use some code to get the amplitude and the phase information from the complex number. Here I should import the CMAS library.
Next, I should use the for loop, change each item to the time domain pattern. Or x in answers. And then the for the magnitude, it will be abs for the answer x. And for the face, it just need to use cmas dot face to get it. Here the error is about the symbol time t. So here we just need to define this sim symbol t. We could define t equal the symbol s y. dot symbols t and then run it again so now we can say we change all of them to the uh, time domain and the first one is amplitude and then cosine omega t and then plus the phase here is the whole solution for this circuit solution we can see that we can use the Python very easy to solve the circuit problem. If this video gave you some help, please subscribe my channel and I will record more videos. Thanks for your watching.